appropriate that that was the number one yes, story indeed. by now. You've heard we're moving to a new broadcast facility. Well, that means we're leaving behind the historic building that's been our home for decades. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli joins us live from our new broadcast center to discuss our rickety old broadcast facility. Vince? Good evening, Robin Ann. As you, as you said, we're here live tonight in our new street-side studios at Daly Plaza, and lighting technicians are busy putting their finishing touches on the space. When we move here next week, we'll have a lot of new high-tech tools to tell more compelling stories, but we will also be building on a broadcast legacy that was forged in our old surroundings. The nooks and crannies of 630 North McClurg Court will soon fall silent, but they echo with some fond moments from Chicago broadcast history. Remember the Susan Show? You need to tell me you never, ever heard of Mr. Pegasus. We have the communications power of the nation sitting right here at this table. Maybe Irv Kupsinet and his panel discussions got you thinking. Or perhaps it was Phil Donahue. You don't know who they are? No. Don't you read the paper? American history has also been made here. Studio One was the backdrop for a presidential first, the televised Nixon-Kennedy debates in 1960. We discuss tonight domestic issues. I stand for programs that will mean growth and progress. Kennedy became president primarily because of a five o'clock shadow on Nixon. He should have had his makeup. Bill Curtis reported and anchored at WBBM for the better part of 30 years. We'll have that story in more. Remember? Many of them alongside Walter Jacobson. I'll tell you how Carter, Ford, and Nixon are spending our tax dollars. Together, they pioneered the format of anchoring shows not from a studio, but straight from the newsroom. Uh, it isn't pretty, but it's real, and that was the, uh, the slogan. A committed reporter here as well, in 1978, Curtis broke the explosive story of Agent Orange. It was chemical warfare. It exposed to the nation that an exfoliant used in Vietnam was causing horrific health problems for our veterans and their children. We had five major chemical companies that didn't want this story to come out. A cavalcade of broadcasters bonded with Chicagoans from our studios here at WBBM. I'm sure you remember this music. Now see how many of these faces you recall. Bruce Roberts will have the big news in sports. They include the legendary anchorman Fahey Flynn, the engaging Lee Phillip, and the scrappy reporting of mob buster John Bulldog Drummond. Ladies and gentlemen, moments ago you saw the two offenders. The it two was Croatian really cool nationals. to just uh, come in every day and see everybody that I would see on television. Dorothy Tucker first walked into the building as an intern in the 1970s. The latest information we have is that... Dorothy's been a reporter here now for 24 years, one of the many journalists who've achieved an amazing level of experience at WBBM. Go to the Obama Bridge. Political reporter Mike Flannery, 28 years. Meteorologist and all-around nice guy Steve Baskerville, 21. Chief Corps Correspondent Jay Levine, 18 years, and Mike Parker first walked into the building 29 years ago. Here he is at 1982. You'll find cocaine wherever there is money to burn. There's a lot of history here, and yes, I'm going to be sad to leave it behind. 26 years ago, CBS2 investigator Pam Zekman joined the team. Our two investigators learned cleaning crews are not always checked at the terminals like passengers. Over the years, the work of our reporters has led to changes and even new laws in Illinois. The nerve center behind these efforts was a converted old ice arena in Streeterville, a place we'll soon leave behind as our work continues. It's time to go and find a new place and start a new uh, tradition and legacy. Just working in the same environment as so many accomplished journalists has been an inspiration for many of us. And though we may no longer be walking down the same hallways, we sure do hope to follow in their footsteps. Don't we, Robin Ann? Absolutely. I think you're absolutely right. right, because you look at the greatness that they achieved, and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and you realize they really blazed the path for us, Vince. Yeah, they sure nice... did, but also the floors were sinking, too, so it's yeah. nice to be... Yeah, we're going to get to that in a minute, Vince. We're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> nice wrap-up there. Yeah. Thanks so much.